Hey everyone! In this video I'm going to briefly introduce the Experiencing MIS Chapter 5 work which talks about databases. Now databases essentially hold a whole lot of data and we'll get into a lot more about that in the actual video where I talk about databases, but I want to motivate this chapter a little bit. I want to show you why I think it's really important information for you to know. So of course, there's the aspect where you need to know about this technology in order to know whether or not it's a good match for whatever information system that you might be working with if you're given the choice of you know, how to build up that information system, how to improve things, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's also really useful to know about databases because their ability to hold so much data can actually be really useful in terms of producing information that will be useful for your business. I've talked a lot throughout this class about how much data is used in order to generate profit. And because of that, anything, any technology you can use in order to hold the data will be useful because you can use that held the data in order to generate the information you need in order to make money. Of course, it goes a little bit deeper than just knowing how to access data inside of databases. You might also have to learn how to change a database, modify the type of data that it's holding. Maybe you're adding more information fields in order to get, well, more data, which then could lead to better information. Maybe that kind of thing is happening. Maybe you're adding in more structured tables. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that uh, in the database video, of course, but maybe you're adding in entirely new sets of data into your database and you need to learn how to manipulate the database in order to work with that. You have to be able to be dynamic and adapt your information system as things change, as technology progresses, as markets change, and that might include the databases that you work with. So if you are familiar with databases and you know then uh, how to work with a database, then it will be really helpful because it's just that much easier for you to then move with the changing times. And of course, maybe it is necessary for you to make your own database in order to keep things organized, to hold information in a place where it's easy to access in order to create your own information generating system. Knowing how to create a database, knowing that a database is right for this kind of job and knowing how to create it could be really useful. Now we're not really going to talk much about how to do these things in this video, how to create a database or access the values in a database or modify a database. We'll get a little more of that information when we actually get into the Microsoft Access material, which is actually next week's material. That's when we start working a little bit with Microsoft Access. We'll be working with databases at that point. But this is more of a primer of what a database actually is. And this is what I would consider to be a jumping off point for you to then start doing your own learning, either like through research online or something like that, or to motivate you to take further classes that tell you how to work with these databases. So that's what we have coming up in the upcoming videos.